Welcome to this video playing PT Crew Pre. Come here, Andreas Kiliris. That's a player from Cyprus, as I recently learned. Let's see, we get probably Queen's Gambit here or Bishop B4. Yep, that's the alternative. A Nimzo style move, which, however, is not quite the Nimzo, as I don't I have not played D4 yet. Knight c6, hmm, that's an interesting way to play it. After d4, we transpose to we transpose to the <coughs> Nimzo Zurich, but I have a queen on c3. Hmm, yeah, I don't really want that, but I can start with b4 here, maybe. I don't have to play, oh, interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have to play the move d4 here, which is a, a big difference. In some cases, I can um, occupy the long diagonal, and it's an open diagonal with bishop b2 coming. This um, is interesting. Yeah, that that is that is making lots of sense. He wants to prepare e5. I wonder if this is a situation where I should actually switch plans, go back to d4, bishop b2, e5, hmm. yeah, let's switch back to this idea, I'm controlling e5, and if he, he can play knight e4 maybe, no, knight e4 and then e5, I was thinking, yeah, someone pointed out to me that well, PT is uh, French for, for Diddle. The second part of this um, this name is actually something Greek, and it's supposed to be not very friendly. <laughs> uh, but I don't I didn't look it up. Don't know what it means. Um, so, if someone is knowledgeable in the Greek language, please. Um, well, if it's if it's very naughty, you shouldn't post it. But. Uh, <laughs> Would be interesting to learn what this actually means. Okay, yeah, 94. I can take f7 here even for queen c4 check, and then getting the knight back. Hmm. Bishop f7 if the king moves, queen to b3. I don't know check. if he really has any compensation for that. I don't believe it. To be honest, yeah, king takes queen c4 check, and I'm getting the knight back. It, uh, would already be two pawns up. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe he can get one of those pawns back with his activity with bishop e6 and so on. But two pawns, I uh, cannot believe it. Maybe he moves the king. And I'm going to play queen b3. Having the rook still under attack. Check. I'm also threatening h7, so it's it's not <laughs> it's it's not yeah <laughs> it's not so um so easy to to find find something good here for for him okay so i thought bishop b2 were just keeping keeping this protected preparing um rook d1 yeah that was was the obvious choice hmm okay i can play queen g4 simply keeping an eye on the long diagonal and Okay, he can get a pawn back now, but I, I doubt that it's really going to be sufficient. Bishop f3, yeah, that's an interesting question, actually. I can take with the g pawn, okay. Ah, oh, yeah, he wants to play his bishop to c4, I think, or the queen to d3. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, that, that's a point, that's a, that's a really valid point queen d3 is um is a nuisance really so maybe i should
play it a bit differently. Let's let's put it back and then reconsider after bishop d5. I can also go to c2, allowing this this trade trade here or to d3 actually. So bishop f3, queen d8, gf, knight e5, king e2. Yeah, that that's that's quite okay. <clears throat> that's quite okay. Returning one pawn but keeping keeping one and still relying on the fact that I have the bishop against the knight in um in a very open position. The bishop is very good on the long diagonal. Okay, so taking here, knight e5, king e2 should be should be really good. Don't want to take the the knight. It's really quite clear that I have the the better minor piece here. Unfortunately, I cannot go to d4, but not a big deal. Bishop d4, he can take, or he could have taken. In that case, okay, so just. Just rook d1 takes takes knight a3 rook d7. Uh, okay, yeah, that that should be good. Okay, so I can trade that one. And now just keep the pawn. Okay, yeah, I don't mind to, to have b5 played here. Fixing those pawns on dark squares. Okay, so let's gain, gain some more space. is nicely taking lots of squares uh, maybe rook f7 is a move that I should have looked at uh, he wants to play c6 maybe c5 mm -hmm. time warning okay yeah I have four against two there on the on the king side that's where I should try to Decide the game, getting pawns rolling. He's still a couple of moves away from threatening anything on the um, on the queen side. Check. <clears throat> yeah, h6 is hanging so I'm going to get this pawn and then all well, those two pawns should be pretty pretty good oh, his only hope is something with the c pawn but Check. that doesn't really look very likely to happen Check. Okay, mm -hmm. going to d5. Check, yeah, well, it should be okay. Check. 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 Two pawns are a bit much. Black resigns. Yeah, that was a was a real opening opening disaster here with this this um, e5 and and knight e4. Um, yeah, this looks also quite um, yeah I don't know this looks a bit illogical 
taking and uh, giving me this in one move. It's, it's very likely that if he just stays, I'll play bishop e2 at some point and then you can still take if you want. But this is really not working at all. Opening up the position for my bishop pair and this is simply simply not working. That's, uh, what is this, plus two, yeah, plus 1.6, okay. Yeah, I mean, where where is he supposed to go with the knight? Yeah, that, that's really an issue going here. No, that's it. That's really a disaster. I'm a pawn up the bishops. That, that's too much. And here, well, Check. this is this Check. is coming. And here, bishop b2 looks okay. Here, yeah, maybe maybe I have something better. This is okay. And here I reconsidered. Yeah, what I wasn't uh, so sure about here is if we think of this. Originally, I wanted to do here, but well, this is. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of fishy. And yeah, well, the, okay, the engine is going down to zero already. Actually, I feel very uncomfortable here <laughs> with those ideas. So I prevented that and repeated once. The comp wants to play queen f4 here. I didn't consider that very much. I thought giving him the tempo isn't making much sense, but okay, this is um, still a good position. But queen d3, I think, is okay. I'm returning this pawn here, but it's just a, it's just a very good position where really he has no compensation for being a pawn down. It's um, it's 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 rather white who has the better pure position, let's say, because of the bishop. Here I'm taking with the rook. That's important, not with the king, because this is just just a bit too much. He cannot cannot defend here the seventh rank. So he went here, here. Yeah, and here we can you can you can debate, but I think I think what I did was was okay. I I made one mistake, I think, here, here probably. He can play rook f7 now, which is I mean, hmm. I'd say okay, even that is not a big problem. I have I have this re this re this reply. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I was I was briefly worried that rook f7 is a bit of a problem, but okay. Well, here I think what I what I played is okay. It's mostly mostly the engine moves actually. Check. 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 Yeah. And now you can really Check. just just move the pawns up. This Check. is. Check. Check. Simply too much with the active king, and it's two against one, basically. Yeah, the the opening here was the the reason for Black's defeat. Okay, well, thanks for watching.